Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your glutton Matt having some Pizza Hut today. So what I did was I went and I got Pizza Hut's new melts. So I went and I got one of each of them. I got a pepperoni lovers, a meat lovers, a chicken bacon Alfredo, and a mushroom onion Alfredo, I believe it was, along with some breadsticks and some mozza sticks as well. So let's get into this because there's a lot of food here. Start with those mozza sticks. Break open the dip. Some cheddar jalapeno. And I'm not sure which one of these I want to go with first. I think I want to say the I want to say the mushroom, the mushroom onion Alfredo one. Just because mushrooms not like I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge mushroom fan. I just want to get eat one of each just for like the sake of having all of them. I can't actually I don't know I can't tell what each one is anyway. I think this one might be the mushroom onion Alfredo. Oh yeah, I can see the I can see mushrooms in there for sure. Mm. And they gave creamy, creamy garlic to go along with that. Mm. Let's dip it in there. Mm. That's good. That's not bad at all. I'm like, I'm not totally against mushrooms either. I really, I just don't like mushrooms by themselves. Like I can't, I can't do like grilled mushrooms and then like put them over a steak or something. But if they're like cooked on a pizza or something, I don't mind them. So that's actually good. I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. It's actually nice that mit I should say McDonald's. Obviously McDonald's wouldn't give me my sauces. It's nice that Pizza Hut gave me my Mike gave me my sauces. I feel like if I get McDonald's, the next time I get McDonald's and if I get my sauces, I know there's something wrong. It's like the next time I do McDonald's and I get all my sauces and all my napkins and cutlery and everything I'm supposed to get within the bag. I must, I'll just know the world's ending or something.
Yeah, the only two I couldn't really tell the difference apart was the chicken bacon alfredo and the mushroom alfredo just because they look sort of similar but the meat lovers and the pepperoni lovers are pretty self-explanatory it's just the they didn't really mark off the boxes or anything but obviously i can tell those two apart so let's go with let's go with the meat lovers i guess this time there we go meat look i guess you can't really tell by just the outside of it like right? like if you just peek in the side there i can definitely tell it's meat lovers mm. Bust open some peppercorn ranch for that. So far, uh, ooh, ooh, I think I like this one more for sure. Just because I'm definitely more of a meat lover's kind of guy. Mmm. <laughs> there's one of those i told you so moments i know people are gonna write in the comments that was actually my fault i was gonna try and speak just as i'm about to swallow some food but i put my i put my mic down here this week so like i wouldn't screw up any of the auto this week audio this week but now i'm just i'm like dripping like sauce and stuff all over as it sits on the table it's like right here let's have this other slice of this guy though I don't know why, just like, I couldn't wait to like talk until, I couldn't wait until my food was finished to start talking. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> there we go, two down. <coughs> oh, there's a nice burp right there. Get some more of these mozzarella sticks down. They're not really stretchy, are they? That's what happens, I guess, when you let them cool down. Maybe you should heat them back up before we start the video.
Oh, there we go. Get another burp off. <clears throat> a little bit. Let's go with the let's go with the chicken bacon Alfredo one. There we go. Again, you probably won't be able to see what's in there, I'm sure. This one looks pretty similar to the mushroom onion Alfredo one. Mmm. That's good. I think, I actually think, I think I was supposed to eat the meat lovers with marinara. So they gave me two marinaras. I think, cause they're one dipping sauce comes with each of them. So I think the marinara came with the pepperoni lovers and the meat lovers. And then I think the creamy garlic went along with the mushroom onion Alfredo and the peppercorn ranch went along with the chicken, chicken bacon Alfredo. I think that's how it was supposed to be. So I used up whatever it does. It's no harm. I guess it doesn't matter as, as long as it tastes good, right? But I think that's the way they're supposed to be paired up. So let's open up this, what do I call it? Peppercorn Ranch for this guy. Like I said, I'm just happy I got my sauces along with this, this meal. Not something I'm very used to. Last one, well, the last last chicken bacon Alfredo. There we go. These are actually like pretty filling. I'm not gonna lie, because like all together in terms of like radius or diameter, which one's which? I don't know. It wasn't much bigger than like a medium pizza or you know, like a medium to large pizza. But then when you factor in, it's like, it's almost like two sides. It's like almost like, it's almost like two pieces of pizza, like squished on top of each other. So each piece is like, I, th I feel like it's a little bit more filling than just like one slice of pizza. So you, you have like two sides of crust there. Another burp come on. Maybe. Starting to get full. Starting to get full. I have to admit, it actually threw me, threw me for a bit of a surprise when I saw we had these in Canada. I was not expecting to get melts. I just happened to like, I just happened to open up the Uber Eats app on my phone, 
I wasn't actually planning on getting it like before I did the video, like before I decided to do this video. I just happened to randomly open up the Uber Eats video app and I saw Pizza Hut melts now, now here. And I remember like seeing like videos done of them like on YouTube, like Americans doing reviews and stuff on Pizza Hut melts. Uh, we don't, we don't always get like, we don't in Canada, we don't always get whatever like the States gets all the time. This is like one, one of those things where like I, I wasn't expecting them anytime soon. And lo and behold, I saw them being advertised. I was like, hey, we'll try me some of those. Oh, there we go, guys. That felt good. Okay. Last but not least, the pepperoni lovers. Here's the last close up. I know, I know at least one person out there who gets annoyed at me at closing up, at, closing up everything. But here we go again. You can't really see, but yeah, that's all pepperoni in there. I saved that one for last. I thought I'd, I'd like it the most. Let's bust open the marinara sauce for that guy. I'm not sure if it's just because I waited till last to eat this guy, but this guy feels a bit drier than the other, the previous three. Wow. That's kind of spoiled. Like it feels like it's drier and like there's like I think because you're supposed to dip it in the marinara sauce so like it doesn't have sauce actually in it because it's meant to be paired with the marinara sauce so that's like this is like your sauce but I think like in terms of like cheat like anything that everything like it just feels like there's so much less than this of these ones I guess there's just cheese and pepperoni in there. I thought I was gonna like that one the most though. I'm gonna need another burp just to finish this off. <coughs> there we go. Just as I asked for. Just in time. Also trying some new, you know, it's a limited edition Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola Coca -Cola Move. I don't know how long that's been out. I just saw it at the store today. I was at I was at Walmart like picking up some groceries and stuff and I noticed that there's that that was on the shelf and I was like oh, I'll try that out. Always always like try me some new Coca-Cola flavors. I think the last one I really liked was Coca-Cola Dreamland. That was a good one. It reminded me like a lot of cotton candy. I don't know if anyone else tried that and got that too. It definitely had like a cotton candy taste to it to me. I 
always like going to Walmart though. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's like this in other countries, but like here in Canada, you're trying to like do away with all with plastic bags. So you have to like bring in your own reusable bag to do your shopping. Like you, you either like, either some places don't give you, I'm talking with my mouth full. Some places just outright don't have plastic bags or like obviously you have to pay for them each bag if you want a bag. But Walmart's just totally done that with plastic bags. You can't, like if you go in there to go shopping, you have to bring your own bag because you cannot get plastic bags while you're there. And I oh, it will like always like slip my mind. So I'll go to Walmart, not bring a bag with me. And then I'll like buy a bunch of stuff and like I'll get to the checkout and then I'll be like, oh shit, there's like no plastic bags. And he'll be like, if I'm wearing like a hoodie or something, I'll be having to like, I'll be like, I'll obviously pay for my stuff. But like after I'm done paying and like checking out, I'll have to like shove everything like into my hoodie pockets and stuff and in my pockets and like go out like carrying a bunch of stuff like this. I'm just like, why did I not remember a bag? There we go. Mmm, mmm, some more burps there. Melts. Last guy. I'm sure you can just hear how dry that is. Again, like I said, it's not supposed to have sauce inside of it. But I feel like it at least needs a little bit something else. Like maybe they didn't put enough cheese in there or something. Because each of the other three did not feel as dry as this guy. There, it's coming apart. So you can sort of see on the inside. There's not much in there, is there? Not much at all. Like, did they even put cheese in there? Like, it doesn't even feel like it. That would be like the thinnest layer of cheese. full now for sure I carefully pick up my mic as not to ruin anything and there we go all down those are pretty good it doesn't really feel like too original of an idea like they almost just seem like calzones or something or like because like they just took it's almost like they just took two pieces of pizza and like squished them together so that you had crust on the like both outsides and then all the toppings on the inside 
and then they just gave it a new name or something. But they were they're filling. They're good too. I think the the pepperoni at the end was a little bit disappointing. I thought I was gonna like that one the most because usually like either meat lovers or pepperoni are my like two favorite sorts of pizza. Two favorite two favorite sorts of pizza. I'm trying to say. But oh, there's another burp that really really helped me out. But so I think. In terms of what, like, the order I liked them the most was probably, it probably went meat lovers, then the chicken bacon Alfredo, and then the mushroom onion Alfredo, and then the pepperoni lovers last, which I'm really, really surprised because I did not think, I didn't, I, I thought I was, I thought I was going to like the mushroom onion Alfredo one the least, to be honest, but actually it wasn't that bad. Like I say, if mushrooms are like, if they're on a pizza or something and they're like sort of like crisp, like crisped up, so they're not like really like chewy or anything, I don't mind them all that much. But I really, I don't like like I don't know like mushrooms fried up in a frying pan or something or sautéed or whatever you call it. Like when they still have that really squishy like mushroomy feel to them, I, I can't stand mushrooms like that. But anyway, that was a lot of food and I'm full and I'm just rambling on. I'll let you guys go now. I hope you enjoyed that video. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon. All that stuff. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Until then, peace out.